And then what would be something when you're doing these inspections, like what would be something that that is really alarming in the attic? You know, I'll tell you, if we're inspecting a house that's, well, it could be any age, but I mean, if it's if it's built before the 90s, it's pretty much a guarantee that you're going to have these attic bypasses. So I wouldn't say it's alarming. I'd say what I would be alarmed at is if I get a home inspector on my team who goes up in the attic and they say, I can't find any attic air leaks. Sure, <laughs> sure. I'd say, what, which house are you at? Right. Because they're going to be in every older house, unless you've already hired a contractor to come out, pull the insulation out of there, seal off all the bypasses and, and put all the insulation back in. I mean, it's, it's standard. You're going to have this on every house. So I wouldn't call it alarming, but something that something that does freak people out. And I, I'm not saying this is the end of the world, but I know from experience it freaks out home buyers is when you got an attic that's covered in mold. And we're talking a bunch of black stuff all over the place and maybe a bunch of frost in the attic. The mold will grow there because you end up with a lot of frost. And frost accumulates in the attic for the exact same reason. It's because you have warm, conditioned, humid air leaking up into the attic space during the winter time. And then it hits that roof decking and it condenses, it turns into frost and then eventually it accumulates and it keeps building up with frost as we have long cold snaps and then it warms up and then it all melts. And then all of your roof decking gets saturated and, you know, under really bad conditions, you may even have water dripping down and staining your ceiling. And then of course, I'm sure you've had those complaints being a roofer. You, you end up having your clients call you and say, hey, my roof is leaking. Absolutely. No, your roof is not leaking. It's right. a building science condition. Right. But, right. you know, it's, it's, it's got to be tough for you trying to convince your clients of that. That I mean, that's a great that's great insight because it really is. It, it sounds like I'm I'm. Um, presenting them with a magic trick, right? Like, cause, cause you're saying, no, 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 it's not the, it's not the roof that we just put on. It's condensation from your home. And it just seems, it does tend to seem sort of unbelievable. That's a huge hurdle when someone calls us and says that they're, you know, they have some type of moisture issue, whether it's on, on the, the bottom of roof deck or on a window, if they have condensation and then you have to sure. sort of convince them and really, really like, um, you know, educate them on, on uh, the moisture in the house, which is the, that is usually, I mean, that's, what's causing the condensation, right? Like whether it's leaking through the roof and how do we stop that or, or attaching to the window, the moisture in the house is the big issue. Um, you know, we'll put in brand new, whatever Marvin windows. And then, you know, that winter someone has condensation issues and they think the window is bad. Uh, and yes. then you just have to kind of, you just have to educate them. You know I mean? That's the best we can do. Um, there's no reason that, that they should know, <laughs> you know, th those specific things. But um, it, it is something that happens that, you know, it seems like we're kind of trying to put the wool over their eyes sometimes. Right. Um, yeah. But it, yeah, it, I, it, I would say like, you know, nine out of 10 times when I get a call with, with uh, any type of condensation um, and oftentimes it is on the roof decking, I'd say nine times out of 10 there, they have some type of extra humidity in the house whether it's a, you know, a humidifier in the, the baby's room, um, could be they, they shower too much or whatever it is, but it's, there's usually a, a reason right away and it's based on water. <laughs> totally agree. Yes. 